Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I have a long old process video for you today because I'm making a mini album using the beautiful Joyful Day collection and yeah this is kind of um, a very simple mini album base but uh, it's a very kind of classic and uh, fun design filled with lots of uh, pink fresh goodies. So I'm starting off by creating my cover and you can see I've written the dimensions of the cover pieces on the chipboard. Um, so I use two four by six pieces and one two by six piece for the spine. And um, I used chipboard to as my base, um, but this chipboard, I think it came in some packaging or something, um, but it's very thin chipboard. It's kind of like cereal box thickness, but um, pink fresh papers are so sort of, uh, they've got such a good weight to them um, that, yeah, the, the cover ended up being really strong because of the paper I used. So did I say what this paper's called? Uh, it's called Small Beginnings and I absolutely love those little plants with the uh, little strips of colour um, that look like you've taped them to something and I thought that would work really well for uh, this kind of spring themed album. Um, and I just stuck um, a big chunk of it <laughs> down onto my cover and uh, I made some slits in the corners and then for some reason I decided to uh, make some slits in the spine to fold every, you know before I folded it all over but I really didn't need to do that so you know don't do that <laughs> um it actually made like the corners slightly uneven and I had to kind of press them down with like a bone folder so yeah I'm just folding everything over and taping it down I yeah just use some strong double-sided tape nothing you know particularly fancy and yeah, it's just so simple and easy to do this kind of cover and it looks really professional, I think. Um, yeah, so I also um, taped the chipboard pieces together with some masking tape and that was just so I could get the spacing right and sort of have it all as one sort of cohesive piece rather than, you know, everything flailing about because I'm a bit um, disorganised like that. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, and it also just helped reinforce those um, those edges. And I'm just going over with them with a bone folder just to make sure that everything, um, you know, pressed uh, was kind of nicely folded and could be worked uh, well. So now I'm creating the spine and I wish I'd used a pattern paper for this, but I just used some A4 white paper and trimmed it down to it's six inches in height um, so it's kind of the same size as the cover and I scored at every half inch every half inch again and then at every quarter inch which creates um, a little gap in between each uh, sort of fold where you're gonna place your pages and uh, I did that because this album ended up being quite chunky, so it gave a little bit more space uh, in between each uh, page. Uh, so yeah, I hope you can see what um, I'm doing there. Um, this is, it kind of looks more complicated than it actually is, um, but yeah, it's just so, um, it's a really easy fold to do for your albums, and yeah, I... Yeah, like I said, I wish I'd um, used pattern paper because you could see some of the white in there, but I didn't think about that ahead of time. But um, yeah, I don't mind it because white's kind of um, a good base colour because everything just looks good against it, really. Um, so yeah, the folds are not the easiest thing to do in the world. They're a bit fiddly. Um, but yeah, once you get everything sort of folded um, the right way, it's really easy just to see how it's going to fit into the album and if you want to know how many measurements I or not measurements what's it how many uh folds spine oh, blimmin neck <laughs> I meant pages how many pages I made um I made seven so yeah I feel like that's quite a it's a good amount um they're double-sided and I create lots of different pockets and sort of interactive elements which you'll you'll see in a bit 
and yeah now I'm just putting some uh, double sided tape on one sort of fold of the folds that doesn't make sense <laughs> <laughs> oh I should just not do voiceovers I should just put some music over this um but anyway uh yeah so I'm just taping um the sort of main the larger folds together to create um that hinge to put my pages on and yeah as you can see it just folds up really nicely and you get the little quarter inch um gaps in between each uh fold so yeah you got lots to um, lots of space to work with with an album like this, and yeah, I'm just folding everything over just to make sure it folds back and forth nicely, so all the pages turn nice, and yeah, it fitted pretty perfectly into um, onto the spine, so that's great because I didn't measure anything. Classic. <laughs> um, and now I'm just trimming off the corners, and that just makes sure um, nothing kind of sticks out when I attach the pages and yeah just makes everything a little bit easier to um, stick down and create a more uh, uh, finished polished design so yeah what am I doing now oh I'm sticking that down and yeah just using some double-sided tape again nothing fancy um, you could use super strong tape and this is just regular double-sided tape but um, I don't have a problem with it um, yeah this worked out really well and it hasn't fallen apart since I made this so <laughs> that's good um oh sorry about my hair there um and yeah just folding the sides down as well and yeah just make sure everything's in place and folded nicely and yeah that's pretty much the base done uh so now I'm using the leftover bits I have from my cover um and I'm using the B side of that small beginnings paper to uh, cover up the insides. I did consider using um, obviously some other papers as you can see, but I just really like that sort of coral, um, it's kind of corally, peachy color. It's really nice and um, it's like, it's a nice sort of neutral base color and it's kind of a simple pattern, which I really liked. Uh, so now I, I'm decorating the inside cover and I had this idea to create a little pocket but make it look like grass like a spring scene so um, I am yeah, using this green paper and I'm sort of chopping into it to create the look of grass and then I just stitched around the whole thing um, with some white thread just to make sure everything was secure and I'm really sorry like my camera died as I was doing that and I didn't realise so uh, I did a little bit of work um, in using some of the die cut pinwheels and that little um, pennant fabric flag which is seriously just so cute and they do come with um, sort of cocktail sticks in them but I just cut those out and put um, a longer one in to make it look like an actual sort of flag sticking out the ground and yeah I just I think it's super durable the way that all this all looked and I recently got these book corners and I just love the way these look on the album um, they're new to my stash and yeah they're obviously functional because they protect the corners from getting damaged but they also just make the album look really cute and professional and yeah fancy <laughs> and I'm a fancy gal so yeah I was super happy with uh how those looked um you can fold them over but I found that they just kept falling off and they were really annoying me so I just popped a bit of um of my liquid glue down and they've stuck really well so yeah very happy with how that turned out and now it's time to get to the pages I um didn't know which paper to use first obviously um, and I wanted something that kind of complemented all the colours on the left hand side um, of the cover so I'm using this uh, cute little floral print it's um, lots of uh, little dainty floral clusters and yeah it's got lots of colours in it and it just worked really well I think so I just cut a sort of four inch strip of the pattern folded it in half and yeah just to create a little pocket and you just place that over the um the album hinge 
is it a hinge? I'm gonna call it a hinge, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and that created, uh, yeah, a really cute little pocket and it's super easy and it covers up the spine. So um, I also used this uh, paper called Fresh Start. I love that black pattern on the other side. It's very busy and bold, but um, yeah, I just really like it. It's really cool, I think, and unique. Um, so yeah, and on the back of that, I'm just creating like a little flap. So you've got a pocket and a flap and you just attach it to the same page and it just, um, yeah, it just works really well. It just creates extra space to add whatever you want. Um, yeah, again, just using double sided tape, sticking that all down and yeah, super simple, super easy and yeah, very interactive, which I like. Um, and it creates more space within limited space, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, it just means that you can add even more pretty things into your album. And yeah, I also created a little notch just to let people know that it's a pocket uh, with a circle punch. And now I'm creating a little, um, I was gonna say hinge, but it's not a hinge, um, a little uh, tab out of some puffy stickers to make sure you can turn the page uh, and one of them says you are magical I think and the other one says coffee date which um, like just didn't really have any relevancy to uh, the album necessarily it's really cute yellow color and it went well with the paper so um, yeah I ended up covering that with a velcro dot which you'll see in a little bit so another way I'm kind of creating my pages is to actually split the pages in two so um, I took one of those hinges and cut it in half and I'm going to attach this little envelope which um, I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to make and yeah it's a tiny little thing and it's just cute <laughs> I think so uh, I love this minty uh, pattern it's just adorable and to attach it to the uh, spine, I'm, I literally cut the tiniest bit off the edge so uh, that bit was open. And then I'm just closing it with, um, by attaching it to the spine. Um, so it's covering uh, both sides of it, if that makes sense. And yeah, I love using little envelopes like this. Again, it just creates more space. And I'm really sorry you didn't see how I made the little top part of that um, page, but yeah, I, I'll have a separate video where I'll do a flip through and you can see what I did there. So now I'm creating my own little shaker pocket just because this is um, just, I love little shaker pockets. I just think they're super adorable. So I uh, cut this piece of paper to a six by four size and then I stitched over it with some tool, tool, is that how you say it? Um, like that fine little mesh that you get on ballet tutus. <laughs> you know what I mean and I stitched that around three sides and then filled the um, thing with sequins and then stitched up that bottom edge to create a little shaker pocket and yeah I just think this would look really cute with just sort of um, some sort of like three by four photo in the center of it and then have all this glittery shaker sequins um, sort of uh, floating around <laughs> and yeah I just I love the sparkle this adds um, and I love all the um, frame the colors of the frame behind it I just think it looks really really lovely and sweet um, and what did I put on the other side did I put the pocket on the other side I can't remember oh this be a surprise for both of us <laughs> um, so yeah again it's just so easy to like cut into these papers they're just so inviting um i really just love this collection it's very classic pink fresh um with just the color scheme and the patterns and yeah it just it feels so um yeah they're just the patterns are so unique and there's not anything like it on the market which is why i really really love uh working for pink fresh uh yeah so there i kind of had a completely different idea to what this page turned out so I ended up just creating a pocket um, and yeah I would have done it differently if I thought ahead but I didn't want to cut into any more of that paper um, and waste it so yeah I'm just working with what I got 
so yeah as I said I just made this into a pocket and now I'm just punching some holes and popping in some eyelets to make a little um, tie that I can tie the pocket closed with um, I don't think I did this very well wasn't really sure how to do it so I just like glued those little um, punch circles down and now I'm adding in the eyelets and yeah it worked it worked it creates a really really cute little pocket um, and I love that you can still um, that you can see the uh, paper the pattern on the other side I really love that um, wreath pattern and yeah again really simple don't know what I'm doing now I'm completely off camera well done me okay next page I'm sorry again my camera cut out and I didn't realize there was so much footage I had about four or five hours of footage I'm not joking um so yeah I'm sorry that uh some of it got cut but you know I don't want this to be a three hour long video so um I'm using one of the Pink Fresh exclusive cut files. If you join the Facebook group, I'll have that link down below. You get access to these cut files. And yeah, super adorable. I love this floral one and I decided to do uh, to back it and sort of attach it to a page. Um, I just, yeah, I love this combination of the pink and green. It's just very classic and very, um, it just makes me happy. <laughs> so um, because you're going to see the um, other side, because I'm going to create a page out of this design or like a, uh, yeah, a flip thing. <laughs> oh my god, words have, 16 minutes in and words have failed me. Um, because you could obviously see the reverse side, which was a bit of a mess. I used some pattern paper to cover that up and then just... Um, made sure all the gaps uh, um, in between the flowers were cut out with my craft knife. Um, and then I love that green pattern on the reverse of that pink paper. So I wanted to feature that on the page behind, but I didn't want the hinge showing through. So I created a little pocket out of that beautiful um, sort of dainty floral sprig um <laughs> uh pattern and i stitched um some pom-pom trim on the top uh just just because i love pom-poms and um i just love the texture that adds and it just helps separate um the edge of the pocket and just adds a really nice little detail i think um and then what mode oh this this page this page this page turned out to be a bit of a um yeah, a bit of a mission. It was a very simple idea um, because I had these two, um, in the ephemera pack, there are these two um, wreath die cuts and they're basically the same size, um, but just a slightly different design and color scheme. So I thought, oh, that'd be really nice to like create like a little window um, using uh, those wreaths as frames. And yeah, it did work. As you can see, I used some of that tool mesh thing, you know what I mean? Uh, to create that window and I filled it with some little star sequins just because I was on a shaker sequin kick <laughs> and um, then I realised I didn't like the way because um, obviously you could see through it the way the other side looked um, so I wanted to create another little page um, so I cut some of that uh, floral paper down and I went to pull it up because I'd already stuck the um, stuck the little window pages together onto the spine so it, they didn't want to come up. Uh, this tape is really good. Um, it's from Hobbycraft in case you were wondering. Um, and yeah, so then I had to create like another little page to fold over. Um, so I just, yeah, it, it ended up working fine and I was just being really perfectionist-y about it. Um, you can't even tell the difference. Uh, so yeah, I decided to decorate this page with one of those, uh, one of the chipboard frames and create a little pocket, um, which, uh, was the perfect width for a, um, for one of the tags from the die cut pack to fit in. And yeah, love, love the way, uh, that, that turned out in the end. So yeah, all's well, ends well. And I was sorry about my big fluffy arms in the last, uh, clip, but, 
I, yeah, my, I've said it before, the room that I craft in gets freezing, so <laughs> uh, fluffy uh, dressing gowns are a must. Now I'm creating a little, another little envelope. This one is a bit bigger, it's the whole four by six size. And again, use my punch board for that. And I love this, I just love that floral sprig paper. I think it might be my favorite in the collection. Um, yeah, it's just really simple and classic. And yeah, I just love the ochre color of the little flowers. Uh, but on the other side, I didn't really like the way um, it looked too busy, those um, square patterns on the reverse of that paper. So I created like an envelope insert with just some white paper and I stuck that into the envelope just so um, you wouldn't see all that pattern because it just made it look a bit too busy. Um, and yeah, this envelope, um, you could obviously leave it blank. I decided to basically make a mini album within a mini album because <laughs> apparently this wasn't enough, you know. Just I was having so much fun making this album that I just didn't want to stop. So, um, yeah, I'm also using some Velcro dots to uh, sort of seal the edges together so you can open it and close it really easily. And I got those on Amazon and they were pretty cheap. I got like 500 of them, which is slightly ridiculous, but um, you know, they'll last a while. Um, and yeah, it's just a really easy way to make sure that your album um, opens and closes properly um, without sort of having to make fiddly things with like string and whatever like it's just easy just to stick a velcro dot down so now i'm also creating the mini album to go in the envelope and i'm just cutting um some little three by four pieces of pattern paper and yeah um i i don't know why i decided to create another album basically um but yeah this idea is really really simple and so easy to put together and it's just fun just to sort of use all of the cute embellishments and decorate all the little pages um yeah like i said i was just having too much fun didn't want to stop <laughs> so um yeah i rounded the corners of each um card and then i'm either using like a little ephemera pieces to decorate or creating my own pockets or um yeah i'm just just having just experimenting with each page it's kind of nice to work on a smaller format um and i especially love the way the card that i created there turned out i love that ditzy floral print with that ephemera piece and the little yellow bow just so so cute and it ended up um stitching along the top so um that uh, the whole thing could flip up and yeah it's just really nice and interactive and a lot of fun and I hadn't used any of these labels yet so this was a good way to bust those out um, and I absolutely love those labels they've got some really lovely gold foiling on them and just really lovely colours and on some of them I'm taking the stick off with my um, anti-powder tool no it's not anti-powder <laughs> um my powder tool so um i could move them around and they wouldn't get in the way and i'm using a combination of stapling things down or gluing them um or not really gluing them but like sewing them just to add some more texture and also just makes it really like the whole sort of process really quick and easy to do so yeah, um, they, I kept these, the embellished them really simply just because um, it, that um, the idea of this is that, you know, once they're done, you add photos into them, uh, onto them rather, and yeah, they're already embellished. So you just need to add the photos or add the journaling or whatever. And yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> um, and yeah, there I'm using some vellum as a pocket. Um, I just really like that, the way that, it, you know, it looks translucent and you can kind of see the pattern behind it. Uh, just adds some really nice texture. And I really love this, how this pocket turned out that I'm creating now um, because I used that blue side. So it looks exactly the same. You can't really tell there's a pocket, um, but yeah, it's just kind of like a hidden little pocket. And I just like that, um, the way that looked. And with that die cut uh, that says celebrate today going across it, it just looked really nice. Um, yeah, 
and super easy and just looks so cute. I love all the pink fresh stuff like this because there's like lots of little bits that you can just add and it's like a nice little um little sparkle of summit summit. <laughs> um and I love those chipboard frames. There's just yeah, all the different sizes, all the different colours. Um yeah, they just look really nice on um on the page. And yeah, obviously a great place to add photos and whatnot. So I'm not sure what else to say now. 25 minutes in. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need a nap after this. I don't do talking <laughs> um, for this long. I'm not a public speaker, in case you hadn't noticed that I'm completely inadequate in this department. But anyway, I hope you don't mind the voiceover too much. And if you do, just you know, you can always mute me, <laughs> put on some music or something. But if you are listening to me ramble on, uh, well done, 10 points to you. <laughs> yeah, just, um, yeah, I'm I'm not a natural at this, but yeah, I'm always trying to get better. So, um, yeah, just adding all the little bits and pieces to the album. I think I made sort of four pages, which are double-sided, so eight pages like eight fronts, covers, pages, you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, it was just fun just to decorate them. Um, and then uh, once all the pages are decorated, I sort of worked out an order in which I wanted them to go. And, oh, what am I doing there? Oh, I'm trimming, I did a lot of stitching. Um, and yeah, I'm just trimming everything off to make it all neat and lovely and all that and um yeah to kind of create um to attach all the pages together I'm just arranging them in whatever order I want them to go and then I'm getting some just plain white satin ribbon from my stash and I'm basically going to run that through the middle of each of the pages and yeah, that will kind of create a really, really simple um, mini album. And I love the way the ribbon looks because you can use the ribbon to tie a pretty bow around it all. And yeah, just looks looks super nice, I think. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll see that um, in the flip through, which I'll have in a separate video, like I said, and I'll obviously link that below and um, at the end. So um, now I, this is the page that I'm really, really not sure about on the album. Um, I think it's all right. Um, it's, you know, it's there. Um, and yeah, it was fun to just experiment. So I'm creating like this little, um, sort of, uh, pocket. I guess it's kind of a pocket. I'm basically using, um, thread, um, to create, to hold sort of some large tags in and, um yeah i'm just str i strung some sequins through and things like that and i wasn't really sure about it um and again you'll see yeah you can see there on the left hand side how that looks um not 100 percent sold on it but you know it's there and yeah it's there <laughs> um and also i use some of the packaging to create um uh one of the large tags and yeah just the packaging um the backing sheets of like the stickers and things like that have some really cute designs on them so why not use them and i created that large tag from that and it just adds a really nice sort of subtle bit of color and pattern um and then on this final page i am basically creating a very similar page to what i did in the beginning again creating a little pocket and then adding a little um flap on the other side and I decided to do some stitching on this uh, bit on the edge. Um, I wasn't super happy with how it turned out, but yeah, I just fancied doing some stitching. I hadn't really done uh, much hand stitching on, actually I don't think I did any. This was the only bit of hand stitching I did. Whoa. <laughs> um, so yeah, just felt like doing some hand stitching. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much the final page. Well, it is the final page. Um, and then I just went back over everything and sort of embellished and finished things off. Um, yeah, it's a very chunky album. I was a bit worried that I wasn't gonna fill it all, um, but I ended up 
definitely f filling it up uh, with some gorgeous little uh, bits and pieces. Um, yeah, see, that's how the little album turned out. You'll get a closer look at that in the flip through. And that fits really nicely in that little pocket. Um, what am I doing now? Oh, I totally don't remember doing that. I created a little tag. Wow. Create a little tag to put in that um, blue pocket that I wasn't sure about. Um, and I recently got the We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile um, to attach all my eyelets and things down. And let me tell you, it's it's so good. <laughs> Having so much fun um, putting eyelets and everything. It just makes everything look so nice. Um, and yeah, I got that on Amazon as well. It just went really cheap one day and I was just like, okay, I'm getting that <laughs> uh, before it's gone. Because I don't know why Amazon do that. They always change the price of everything. But anyway. Um, also, um, all the little pockets and envelopes and things that I created. I think I already mentioned the Velcro dots. But I just used some Velcro dots for, that, for them just to make sure everything stays put. Um, yeah, and it just made... It just makes everything so much easier and it's so cheap and it was like one of those things that's um yeah really essential i think when you're making mini albums like this um and now i'm embellishing that little bit of a f um that little flap with um a fussy cut rose and yeah the the yeah, i don't think they need too much more of these albums i just added a few little die cuts in and um decorated the cover and things like that. I kept the cover very simple. I can't remember whether I actually showed that on this, but uh, again, you'll see it in the other video, um, the flip through in the other video. And yeah, just finishing things off because obviously this is an album. It doesn't have any photos in it uh, yet or anything like that. So um, yeah, I wanted to make sure there was enough space to uh, for whoever to add what they want in this <laughs> um and yeah oh those paper clips are amazing i love them um they're so like just detailed and dimensional and yeah i just i think they add a really lovely little special touch to the album and i think that's going to be it for now if you want to see the full album like i said video will be linked below and uh on the screen so yeah thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you lasted to the end well done because i barely did so <laughs> um yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video and you're inspired to create a little album of your own and yeah have a great week everyone i'll see you later